Welcome back to CK2, where we are joining the young Prince Theodoric of Franconia, who is still a Slavic pagan. Probably not long, because his mom probably wants to convert him. And um, yeah, so I'm thinking that we are going to convert probably falsely. I think that makes some sense. So we are converted to my, officially we're Catholic again, and uh, we are going to also, uh, going to expend some of the money, that was what I wanted to do, if we can, to build up probably our troop levels. I think our main interest we can already tell by our character is going to be war. He has no characteristics so far, which is interesting. Personal combat skill is not so good because of the chest pain, but otherwise... Yeah, he still has like a heart for the Slavic faith because his father... He had a good relation probably with his father, maybe. Ransoning prisoner. And that's my... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my... Not my mom, but my half... My, the official wife of my father. And my mom would say no to that. <laughs> my mom would not want her to be, to be, uh, yeah. My mom would not care for that. Revoking a title, but, oh no, not Fritzburg again. I just helped you, dude. I just helped you. I literally just helped you. Why is every king of Germany an idiot? Including when I'm playing them. Uh, okay. I think we have the troop advantage. I'm feeling we do, although I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we do. Let's go here to Worms. And let's double check that. So he has 7,000. That's ridiculous. And I have 17,000. Okay, so this should be should should be extremely easy. <laughs> Let's do a little bit slower speed though. Okay, that 2k got routed. Okay, that happens. Okay, let's see where they are consolidating their troops and we are here in the north in a pretty good state. We are going to go ahead and go to the capital to siege that down. I think that's going to be good. And these 10k are going to go here to Northern Hessen or Thuringia. Is that Thuringia? No, that's Marburg. That's Northern Hessen. And we're going to kick them in the butt. But before we do, I'm going to quickly restart so that we have some music. Looks like it's bugging out again. And here we are. Music's running again. Just some weird bug. But let's then uh, continue. We have uh, just brought these three, 2,000 routed. We're going to attack here and we're going to siege the capital. All good. All good. Before we do this attack here, though, let's just figure out who's actually leading this army. Uh, I'm not leading it because I'm still a kid. I'm still a kid, but not long. I think we're going to be growing up in July, I think was the birthday, right? If I recall. June. 12th of June. Okay. Okay, we're sieging the capital again. Commander lost. Oh my god. During the Battle of Marburg, the enemy cornered my commander, the Nordgau man. Oof. Another one bites the dust. What a thing to say. Yeah, my mom is still kicking it. And yeah, we, we easily routed the main army. The Pomeranians also attacking, it seems, maybe. They're seizing on this opportunity to take Germany, maybe. Hmm. Lotharingia. No, doesn't seem like it. Pomerania. You're attacking. You're defending against the Thuringians attacking you. I see. Okay, makes sense. 
and we captured him in battle. Arrange a marriage between the Byzantine Empire and some woman. Alright. Cool. What would we do? Like, we absolutely hate his guts because he betrayed us. He's an ambitious guy. Huh. And we are a little bit of a... My mom would not go for it. To release him, to ransom him out. Because it's an unhonorable way to win this war. No, I think there's good honor for it. We're just gonna end it. He's gonna be abdicating. That's gonna be the thing. And who will be the Duke of Holland? All right. The Duke of Holland. This young ambitious guy. Instead it will be this young tempered guy. Let's see how tempered he will be. Yeah. We're gonna lower our troops and uh, go home. Come to Wurzburg. Entitle. Uh, we'll go fully, maybe. Future to me. Nephew. What's he ruling about? Ransoming a prisoner. Mecklenburg. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, let's see how we grow up in just a second. Oh, we should also get married. Um, okay, he's like some not of our religion person, so let's say no. No, of course I forgot that woman who she was exactly. Uh, should we find like a person to marry? I think so. Norfolk, the Duchess of Mercia. Hmm. It will take us a few years for for her to be ready to marry. An Irish, Irish, Polish. Hmm. Polish could be, but not a very pretty one. Another Anglo-Saxon one. A French of Tours. Swedish Countess Elisabetta of Bermeland. That could be. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I mean, it would make sense to marry not so long into the future that we have at least some woman soon. The Duchess of Mercia would be the best choice, I suppose. She rules over two things. She's a little bit out of money. Hmm. Let's go with the preliminary. Yeah, and to our mom, we pretended to be a Catholic. I mean, deep, I mean, they mostly are. We're not really like super serious about the Slavic stuff, at least for now. But um, our mom is happy that we didn't uh, follow our father's mad footsteps, and we are going to have our birthday soon then we will be an adult and uh, what did we become oh we became a brilliant strategist wow wow that is amazing look at our uh, skill of martial ability amazing that is amazing yeah our martial ability is very unrivaled um, very likely our niche will honor that, I think. So, what is our ambition? We're not an overly ambitious person. We have some chest pains. So... Cavalry, we're like cavalry. Hmm. I think becoming a chancellor, I think that would be an appropriate thing for us to be chancellor and perhaps later king. <laughs> uh, war, hunting. Hunting would be a befitting uh, thing, maybe. Hmm. Stewardship, not thinking. I mean, theology and stuff, we don't care about that that much. I think hunting is, is a good focus to, to get into as a, young, as a young man. If there are no actual wars going on right now, hunting is a good focus to do. 
who should be our regent if things go wrong hmm. I don't have a special someone for that like I think I would probably nominate my mom if it was possible but it's not so let's say the Osprey sent man let's check if we have anybody else who would be better on our console the steward could be replaced the spy master we have better ones Nordgau hmm. Hmm. the old Nordgau man it's a bit too ambitious for for my taste I don't like that and the chaplain we definitely have a extra Catholic for that there's no way, no need to proselytize here, right? Nope. So we do just research and about fabricating claims. Hmm. Now that is interesting. Do we need any claims for anything? I think for now, actually not so much. Don't have a cast a spell eye to declare here. What about these guys? Holy Wars. Yeah. Holy War for something. Bohemia. Brabant. I guess that's down here, maybe. Holland. What's in Holland? There's a one territory here. Meissen. Nordgau. Thuringia. So Thuringia would get those ancestral territories of my my dad back. That could be. Uh, alternatively, I think Bohemia is very attractive here, of course. So Bohemia versus Thuringia. Nordgau is not big enough. Meissen, also not that interesting. Holland, not interesting. So Bohemia is definitely the most interesting here. 5,000 troops. We can muster more, plus we can get some additional things. But there might be people joining up with him. Might be, although the map looks really more Catholic to me. The Poles are Catholics as well, right? They're not. Interesting. Okay. He's already in a war. I think we would use that. Not not really because of the land territory thing, but because we kind of want to seek that adventure. Like we are definitely looking for a little bit of a fight. Most recent, he's leader of a plot. Can I say to you to end that plot? That'd be nice. So I don't want to imprison you necessarily. And we can promote, we can fund a religious cult, that's definitely not for us. Um, promoting commanders is definitely in our interest, but it's a bit pricey. So maybe we'll do that a little bit later. That's my thinking. These are Lotharingian troops. Not sure why we are at war with the Lotharingians, why? King Popo. He wants to conquer Eichstadt, whatever that is. The Battle of Meissen. Oh my god. I see troops of soldiers, weapons raised. When they are finished with us, all men are dead. I sing to my niece, wondering why I'm here. What just happens? I don't belong here. I will kill him myself. Oh, I mean, this is like the battle thing that we're looking for, but I know... That we're not such a good fighter yet, but still. Are we brave enough for that? I mean, my father was brave. I'm not sure. Like, this guy has, like, no identity yet. Hmm. Ah, I'll try it. I was chasing him through the forest. I'll take this one, my lord. Clumsy, you swing his passive swords. Um, Mayor did well in the battle. These are... 
the Pomeranian troops. So we shall take a quick battle here. And he wants me to become commander. I have a different idea actually about that, maybe. Uh, no, let that old hack. I'll die in the prison, I don't care. So we are going to lead them in the center, certainly, that's right, and then a few capable men on my side. Yes, Stuart, are you sure? Stuart is what you want me to be, not Marshall. All right. And next up, acquiring a title. Uh, title revocation? No. No. Just, just no. Like never in the history of the of Germany has there ever been any king that had any good intentions with title revocation. It was always, always nonsense. Inviting to plot to king the kill, kill the king? No, thank you. That's not, that's not for me. Okay, we're gonna help out the, the warm sky here quickly because like it just doesn't cost us anything to really do that quickly. But it helps him maybe to, to win that Lotharingian war. Who knows? By any other name, my lord, Clara, bro Clara approaches me with a ledger clutched in her ink-stained hands. Would you do the honor of bestowing a nickname upon me? The festive? The duff. I think the duff was nice, you know. She's the innocent mom. Let's actually... Uh, let's actually pin her. As a special interest person. Let's go for another fight. Blackmailing the vassal, sure. Franconian holy war for Bohemia has ended inconclusively, but maybe because the niche died? Yes, and now they're... Oh, he converted to Catholicism. Oh! What a cop-out! <laughs> I, I know that game. I know that game. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to recover a little bit. We can have so many more troops now that we're a capable fighter. So there is there is a good good reason to recover troops here, certainly. Future wife looking like she's also doing well. Level 2 hospital. In dangerous place. I see. Maybe we are. Yeah, we're scheming here in Ritzburg to see if the, somebody wants to disrupt us. So, who else can we attack actually? Brandenburg? For an excommunicated ruler. Or to get the Worms holding backs. Um, he's excommunicated, I see, okay. What do we get if that was one? If we win, he, if we win, okay. If we win the war, the excommunication is lifted. That's why I'm confused. Just cause for war if there ever was one. If we lose the war, Prince Theodoric pays money to another king. Okay, I'm not sure like what's going on there. Why? Seems like a little bit weird. 
and we can claim some stuff for other people that's not really in our interest and uh, otherwise we don't have any just wars to declare so i think there is an unfortunate peace that has befallen our realm for a little bit as we're preparing for our next thing and i think our next thing might also be potentially to become king of germany i think we have the ambition our father was king of germany and we've seen that the kings of germany are not necessarily so capable and um yeah, as you are on the council, the council gets to vote on war declaration. You can only create a joint faction where the council is discontent. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we are playing the long game and we will become king of Germany in no time. But for that, you'll have to see in future episodes. For now, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.